Hey guys, Mitch here from the Pragma Flow team. Thought I would do a quick video tutorial on how to leverage custom actions and then play with Integromat a little bit and really break out of the Adalo box and go one step further to really be able to build whatever it is you need to integrate with other apps and really to just take on a whole new set of superpowers. It's not too, too complicated. And so I think uh, this will be a really useful one. Um, today, I am going to show you how to build a custom action um, that will let you do a custom password reset. Now, this is uh, the custom password reset itself was already built by Victor, and uh, he did a really cool job with it. I'll link to his video of how to actually build that piece. Um, and you know what? Let me share my whole screen with you before, <laughs> before I make a video that uh, is not quite complete. Um, so here we are, we have the kind of setup that if you've seen Victor's video, you'll be familiar with. And just really quickly, the way it works is the user types in their email here. This button is inside of a list. That list is looking for basically filtering for a user whose email is the same as the one typed in there. So that's going to return one result. And, um, yeah basically the button itself is going to be you know able to link and pull data from that user uh, when we do uh, this update action over here we're creating for the user a random otp code and so that's kind of the essence of how this works now what we need here is a custom action and so we go and we can create a new custom action and we'll call this uh, adalo demo um, password reset and so we're going to click create over here and now it's going to ask us for a url now i've already created one of these doing a little bit of a test um, but you know what for fun why don't we just start over from scratch all right so i've clicked on new scenario and i'll just start typing in webhooks and here is my webhooks module now, the webhooks module is basically going to listen for any request that we send to it. And so it's a really great starting point, and it allows us to connect with Adalo. The other module I'm going to add uh, will be probably Gmail, because that'll make it nice and easy. Uh, so let's start with the custom webhook. And so when we do that, you can create a new one and give it a meaningful name is a really good idea. So here, uh, we'll call this Adalo Demo Password Reset Webhook. And the reason we want to give it a meaningful name is because it's easy to get lost uh, if you have five, six, seven, eight of these. It can be really easy to kind of lose track of what's what, and then you start losing time for nothing. So when you get to the screen, you'll see this URL over here, which I can copy to the clipboard. You'll also see this little stop button because Integromat is listening. It is really good at figuring out the data structure you're gonna send it, but because we're sending a custom action, we can really send all sorts of things. And let me show you what that looks like in the Adalo side. So this is the base uh, URL that I took from, uh, from Integromat's webhook. We're going to send a post because we're sending new information. Um, and then what we're gonna need is some inputs. Now, in this case, there's two ingredients. We have email, which is going to be text. And an example of that would be something like email at email.com. You can make your own, have some fun with it if you'd like. The other thing we're going to do is send the OTP password, the one-time password that's going to be used for reset. And an example value, since it's a six digit, is something like one, two, three, four, five, six. So that works. And we've added these inputs, but now we actually need to send those inputs as part of the request. And so we're gonna add a query parameter. And so the first one will be email. I like to use the same name for both. You don't necessarily have to, but I find it's a bit easier to do. We'll use magic text to plug in the email input that I've created right here. And then we'll do the exact same query parameter. And this one will be OTP password. And again, we'll use magic text, plug it in. We're going to run our test request and it was successful. 
So awesome, we can save our custom action. If we take a look at Integramat, we're gonna see successfully determined. And if you wanna know what it sent, let's try and retrieve it using another module. So I'm going to use Gmail and we're going to send an email. Now I already have a connection in here, but it's pretty easy to add one. The first field is two. So we're gonna add a recipient and that recipient is going to be whoever we put into the email input. And um, yeah, subject. So a really good practice is to include the code in the subject. It makes it a lot easier for your user, especially if they're on the phone. Um, it's much more visible. So uh, password reset code. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the most amazing version of this. I'll just kind of do it quick. Uh, here's your code. Maybe, maybe we would fluff that a little more, um, but there it is. So we plug in the email, we plug in the password, and uh, that's it, we're good to go. Now, if you try to do the Gmail component before you have gotten the webhook structure, then you're not gonna see those variables for email and for one-time password because Adalo doesn't yet know what data it's gonna receive. If you decide that you want to add a parameter, like let's say we added name because we wanted to address the person by name, then we would just click redetermine data structure and send a new test request and it would update. So it's really nifty and kind of well done like that. Before we go any further, there's one really important step and that is from this custom action, um, when you click on the button over here, we need to actually tell it what value to plug in for email. Now, because this button is in a list and this list is filtering for the email address in here, instead of doing logged in user, because someone who forgot their password is probably not logged in, we want to do current user. And so we're going to do current user email. We're going to do current user password reset OTP and we are good to go. So now if I do a demo, and by the way, one really good testing practice is, you know, I've set this page as my home page right now, just so that when I hit preview, we go right there and I don't have to click through maybe two or three other screens to get there. So here we go. My email's already typed in from my last run. So I'm gonna send the verification code. Before I do that, uh, it's important to save and you can either turn on if you're ready to run this permanently, or you can just run once. And I like to run once because we kind of get the spinning thing. It shows us it's waiting. It's really nice for testing. When I send my verification code, I get to actually see in action. We can double check. Email Mitch at pragmaflow.com. OTP password. There it is. So we know that this was well populated. We can see, again, here's who it sent it to, here's your code. So everything kind of went as expected. Uh, and then the last step is gonna be just to check my email and see if the email did arrive as expected. And it has, so we're in luck. So that is how you create a custom action and that is how you use Integramat to do some really basic automations. Now, one other cool thing that I will talk about in Integramat, um, you can directly use the Adalo module to make changes to your Adalo library. And this is a really awesome feature. So these are all the basic API functions that you can do with Adalo if you were writing them in a more custom way. You can get a list of all the records, you can get a specific record, though you need the ID. And in order to get the ID, you actually have to get the list of records first, to my knowledge. Hopefully that changes soon. It's not the best way to go about things. You can add a record, you can update a record. Again, you need the ID. You can delete a record, or you can make an API call, a little bit more generalized. Um, and I mean, basically the functions listed are the functions that are available. Uh, but if you do like to go more custom, you have that option. So that is how you use custom actions in Adalo alongside webhooks in Integramat to do all sorts of crazy things. I hope you've enjoyed this. So like and subscribe. I think you're supposed to say that. That's what all the YouTube people do. And um, yeah, send comments. If you have questions, if you want to know anything, just reach out to us. And if you need help getting your Adalo projects done, then just reach out mitch at pragmaflow.com or info at pragmaflow.com. Uh, check out our website, whatever it is. Let us know 
how we can help you. Our entire mission is just about helping entrepreneurs and other creatives and developers uh, hit their project goals, hit their career goals, and really enjoy the process of what they're doing. Thanks for tuning in.